Hello there guys, it's Stephen here. How are you all doing? It's a lazy Sunday, so I thought I'd do a lazy transfer rumour video for you. Is anyone else still absolutely knackered, by the way, after the um, the very tiring weekend friendly? I was up until 5 in the morning doing a reaction video, as well, which is a very bad idea because I'm exhausted still. It totally affected my Saturday. Anyway, I digress. We're all here for one reason, transfer rumours. And it's been bursting at the seams today. Various journalists reporting the same story, so let's dive into this. Now, as you can see by the names below, we've got a few, but the first one we're going to go for is Pjanic, Juventus is number six, their deep lying playmaker, their regista, their heartbeat of their team. Apparently he's been linked to City and the names have been absolutely reeling off the tongues of all the journalists today. I was going to ignore it because I got a little bit cynical, but the names are just too big. Journalists like Duncan Castles, I know you're going to scoff at that, but Duncan, despite his... Uh, Mourinho brown nosing, shall we say. He's actually a very reliable journalist when it comes to transfer rumours. And then Di Marzio has been on it. And then Alfredo Padula, I don't actually know him, but he's from the Carrero Della Sport. And then Sports Media Set and Tutter Sport. They've all been reporting the same story. That City apparently in for Pjanic for around 100 million euros or around 80 million quid. Um, yeah, and because they're all going so strong at it, it's hard to actually ignore. Now, my initial reaction is still cynicism. I urge, I urge, urge that's not even a word, I urge caution on this one because it strikes to me as a player angling for a new contract now you've got to consider every time a journalist puts a new story out there sometimes it isn't legit in terms of sometimes they're just doing an agent a favor to get their contract uh, boosted get a player a new contract the, the agent will leak a story for a uh, journalist to post knowing that when the time comes to it and they actually need a proper story the agent will scratch the journalist back and give them some actual good news so sometimes it'll take a hit on a story uh, a journalist to get news later on down the line from an agent so you got to understand that it's kind of tip for tat sometimes they'll kind of scratch their back to scratch their back even if it means leaking fake information it happens and I'm not saying this is happening in this instance but it does happen and I know for a fact it does so you've got to be cautious with this. And I'm still urging towards the point where uh, Pjanic won't leave Juventus and he's actually just wants the better contract. Having said that, there are reasons why he could leave. Juventus has just spent an absolute shed load of money on Cristiano Ronaldo. He's 28 years old. It could be his last big payday and he'll undoubtedly get more at Manchester City than he will at Juventus or even at Chelsea or wherever else he may go. Um, and Juventus might want the money. I think 80 million for a 28-year-old, that's a lot of money. It's a good money as well, given the fact that he recoups most of what they've just spent on Juventus' uh, star man now, Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, it does seem like an attractive offer. But once again, he is the heartbeat of their team. Now, I would like this to happen, don't get me wrong. I mean, 28 is not really prime, but he doesn't seem to be a Manchester City signing at the moment. Given the fact that we wouldn't go to, you know, we were arguing over two or three million with the Jorginho deal in terms of how it was going to be paid, in terms of length of installments, and all the minute detail of those kind of transfers. For me, an £80 million transfer is going to be more complicated, especially this close to the season. I can't see City being uh, that ready just to kind of bypass all that transfer haggling personally. Now, I might be wrong there. People will say maybe they think Pjanic is a better buy, so they'll just go for the money. But for me, it just seems a little bit more complicated. And City aren't a famously bad at complicated transfers. We're just slow and we react to it and our pride kicks in. So it doesn't seem a very Manchester City kind of transfer. It's by a record fee by some way. It just doesn't seem to add up at all for me personally, which is why I'm cynical towards it. But having said that, we do need him. And maybe we think, well... He's very good. He's absolutely top quality. He could be a perfect foil for Fernandinho. And we know his age isn't too bad given the fact that Fernandinho is 33 now. It means Pjanic has got a good three or four years at least at the very top if he follows a similar trajectory. And it doesn't seem too bad a deal when you look at it that way. But yes, guys, what do you think of this? Uh, I'm being cautious despite all the people uh, reporting it. City is still denying it, but maybe City have learned the lesson of being so out of it with the Jorginho thing. They've been a little bit quieter this time, perhaps. Maybe it's just bullshit, though. I'm kind of 50-50 on this one. Let me know what you reckon. There's also been a little bit of news on another alleged Fernandinho kind of long-term replacement. Kovacic, the Croatian midfielder at Real Madrid, apparently spoke to the new coach, the Petigu, on Friday and told him that he wants to leave. This is according to Marta over in Spain. Um, yeah, once again, take this with a massive pinch of salt. I'd say a cup full of salt. I'd say a vat of salt. Just be cautious until anything actually comes from this. It could just be transfer nonsense, which we're absolutely surrounded by at the moment. Uh, once again, he's a very good player. Apparently, Real Madrid, if this is true, would want €44 million for him. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really add up. Seen as apparently they wanted more only recently, according to some other reports. Who knows? But either way, he's a very good player and one I would definitely be welcome to see in a blue shirt. But I just... I don't know, I just can't see it happening for some reason. And then there's some news about Brahim Diaz, a man that I think is going to leave Manchester City. Apparently, Girona's uh, coach, or sporting director, sorry, Kike Cassell, 
uh, wants him because he likes his versatility. In fact, that he can play anywhere across the forward line. But Brahim, with a year left on his contract, wants to stay and prove his worth. Uh, if not, he wants to leave. He doesn't want to go out on loan at all. Now, I don't really blame him this because historically, if you go out on loan, you don't tend to come back to Manchester City. And loan isn't a good way to get your career properly going. He probably thinks now I'm 19 very, very, very soon. I think it's in August he turns 19. I just want to start my career. I'm seeing players like Jaden Sancho and so on just play regularly for the first team for a big club. And I'm good enough to do that. That's what he's probably thinking. And I wouldn't blame him. I think he wants to be at Manchester City. I think his heart set up being at the club. But at the same time, this trend of buyback clauses, it kind of works in both clubs' favour there. And for me, someone like Brahim should leave and City get a nice, healthy buyback. And then he can focus on his own career. No pressure there at all for Manchester City. No pressure to kind of... Uh, well, no worry about his long-term future, put it that way. He doesn't have to worry about 12 months ahead in a loan and his contracts and all that kind of stuff. He just gets on with it. Now, I think Brahim, fortunately, will leave. That's just my take. I don't want him to leave, but I also want him to get his career going. I think he owes it to himself. I think City owes it to him to give him the chances that he needs, which he's not going to get. So I think, in general, the best inf the best solution would be just to let him go, uh, get a good fee for him, and then get that buyback close there, because you think we're going to need it one day. There's a little bit of news from Brandon Barker, the once wonder kid. He was so good around 17 to 18, but his career stalled. He didn't, in my opinion, get the opportunities under Pellegrini he deserved when he was absolutely electric. Maybe he hasn't got it all there mentally, which is probably a fair comment as well. But either way, apparently Hull City are working on a deal to sign him permanently. This has come from Alan Nixon, or Reluctant Nico, as he's known on Twitter, a very reliable journalist and all these small kind of loan transfer stories. He tends to get these things right. He's a very reliable, very connected man. And after a very good loan at Hibernian when he wasn't injured, Brandon, it'd be good for one team to move now, get rid of all this loan stuff, get his own career going, hopefully build a bit of a name for himself. And another, he probably needs to do exactly the same thing, is Patrick Roberts. Apparently, according to Daily Mail, uh, Leicester still remain interested in signing the Mercurial winger, but a delay has been well, a delay's happened because he's on the US tour. Doesn't really make sense that to me. Why do he, does he need to be in the UK to complete this deal? Because I mean, it's a global game. These are millionaire football clubs. Uh, they don't billion pound football clubs. Some of them. Uh, they don't need to be there, you know, to sort out a deal. There's a thing called email, so I'm sure it's not delaying in the slightest. I'm sure it's just a reason being given to the press. But either way, I think Patrick needs to leave personally once again, get his career started properly. This headless loan carousel is no good for these young players. Eventually gets to the point where it's a little bit silly. And get him to Leicester, in my personal opinion. Make a little bit of money in him and get a young English talent playing football. That's what I personally want to see anyway. Anyway, guys, that is just some thoughts there on a very tired Sunday afternoon. Um, what do you make of all these rumours? Also, this video is in 4K. Look at that. Fancy, isn't it? I don't know why I thought I'd try it on my camera because I've never tried that setting before. So, yeah, I hope you like it. Anyway, Pjanic, is it going to happen? Kovacic, will it happen? Will Brahim or Roberts or Brandon Barker leave? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe as well if you're new because where else gives you this regular updated stuff on transfers and previews and reactions and all that kind of stuff over than my channel for Manchester City. I try my best, guys. I really do. Once again, thank you for 20,000 subscribers as well. You're all absolutely men. Right, in a bit.